Hello friends, my name is Kailash Sharma and today we are going to learn about very interesting topic called Power Query. While Microsoft has introduced Power Query few years back, however, it was not pretty much used by the users. Now, considering the huge volume of data and different sources of data which gets involved, people are now able to understand what is the importance of Power Query. That's the reason people are started using the Power Query. It's a great feature introduced by Microsoft. Power Query feature available in Excel can be used to get the data then use the transform features available in the queries and then finally represent the data. In this video, we will talk about what is Power Query, what all is common features and then we will also see a practical example of consolidating some Excel files through Power Queries. So before we start, we would request you to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon below to get the notifications. So let's start our learning. What is Power Query? Power Query is a business intelligence tool available in Excel and Power BI that allows you to import the data from many different sources and then transform and analyze that data, particular data. So you can import the data from different sources such as Excel, Access, SQL, SharePoint, web pages, and so many other uh, sources are also available. And then doing the transformation. Transformation means removing the unnecessary data, then changing the data type to the proper uh, data which it belongs to. For example, date is not showing in the date format, so that is you can change the format. You can split the data also. You can summarize the data. That's called transformation. And finally, analyzing it and then getting the meaningful information that is required for your business. For what purpose Power Query is used? The first is to get the data from various sources like Excel, SharePoint, SQL, MS Access, and etc. Then transform data such as cleanup, add new columns, filter, sorting like that. And then finally, publishing the data. In this video, we will see a practical example of consolidating Excel data using Power Query. So let's start. For the purpose of demo, we have got few data. This is a timesheet data of three weeks of a uh, few employees. So let's have a look at week one. So this is week one data of uh, employees. We have five days data available. These are the number of hours they have worked and this is the employee name, employee user ID, week and then date. Similarly, we have week 2 data. You will notice that it is almost in the same format. The only difference is here it says week 2 and then the hours will be different. And then we have week 3 data as well. So what we want to achieve here is we want to write a power query which consolidate all three files together and give us a consolidate list. So the data it should look is first of all you should have week one data below that it should also get week two data and below that it should also add week three that's that's what we are trying to achieve. Also uh, here maybe we want to add one more formula based column which is the total of all five days together. So right now it is showing day wise data but we will try to add a week total also and then we will see how to do it. So let's start. So we will start with a blank excel file. So the option is available in data. This power query option is available in data and from here we have to get the data. Note that we are using a Microsoft 365 subscription and that's the reason the option is available. For the older version sometime 2010 or below, you may not see Power Query these options, but there is an add-in which is available which you can install and then use it. Okay, so let's start. So this is the first step which is get the data. Now for the get the data, we have multiple options. For example, you see from the file you can get the data from the book workbooks which is excel file 
csv files xml json folders then we have database which is sql ms access then we have azure data and then from facebook also you can get it and few or more options are available for example from the web also you can get if you have a structured data available in web it can get that so what we want to do is we want to combine three files now for that you may use this but actually we will be using this from folder so the idea is that our file all three files are available in this folder so we'll copy this folder path and then we are going to give it to the query from file and then from folder you can browse that folder also since we have already copy pasted the folder path so we will click now it is connecting that particular folder and finding out how many files are there you can notice that it has got all the files so there were three files available week one week two week three and you can see it was able to recognize them as three different files then now there are few options which are available here what we are going to do is we wanted to consolidate or combine the data so this is the option we are going to use here also we have a few more options which is combine and transform and load what is combine and transform means first you combine the data plus you want to transform what is transform like adding some formatting adding some formula into uh, at the end that as as i mentioned earlier week total we wanted to add that's a formula we wanted to add that's called transform if you don't want to do it you can directly jump to combine and load but we are going to add some formatting and some uh, formula that's why we are going to use transform the data the next step is to select the sample file we know all our files are exactly similar format so there is no need of selecting anything it will consider first file as a base file which is our week one file you can see it is mentioned here as well so no need to do anything you can also look at the preview of the data how it looks like it's able to capture everything yes so you can see it's showing the preview of week one file we'll click on okay now it is uh, reading that uh, three files and trying to bring the main query window so let's wait so here now it has loaded the query and you will notice a few options which are available and here is our main query which is sample data okay and you can notice the data how it looks like it is similar to our week 1 file but at the bottom you will find week 2 and week 3 data as well uh, note that in power query normally 1000 rows are normally uh, considered or viewed initially but when you will ex execute that particular query it will fetch the rest data also so what we wanted to do is first of all we wanted to add the a column for giving the total of day 1 till day 5 which is week total so how i can do it there are multiple ways to do this but we are going to start with the simple or a, a basic options which is using the add column so i'm going to select all these five columns together and then from standard we can do a addition create a new column that to add so we'll click on that and you can notice the new column got added called addition when you click on it you can also see the formula how it has got so column name is addition and it is adding the day one day two day three day four and day five now addition is not what i was looking at because the column name we wanted to have a week total so when you double click it goes to edit mode week total press enter yeah now it is done and what else we wanted uh, for example we don't want this source file because the week name is already coming so we don't need this so what you can do is you can remove and as soon as you are performing these tasks you will notice that the applied step is recording those things so 
for example we renamed the column so you can see this this step got recorded we inserted the sum it got re recorded and we removed a column so it got recorded like that it is getting recorded and uh, if by any chance you uh, st uh, entered a wrong step you can use this cross button to delete that okay so once it is done i think we are done with this what we can do is we can go to home menu and there is a option close and load so what it is going to do is it is going to close this window and load the data in the excel so let's do it so here you can see the data is now loaded and let's have a look is it getting all the data yeah week one week two week three all three files it is getting and it is getting the the week total as well you can you can see that now let's say let's create one more assumption because what we did is that when we created this query we selected the folder what if there is another week 4 file is added then what will happen so let's try to do it so i'm going to copy this file and rename it to week 4 and inside the data inside that particular file also i'm going to change the week to week 4 okay and then save it and close it now what we will do is we will refresh our query to do that we will right click on it and there is a refresh option available so you notice that right now it is 2870 records are there and let's see then when we refresh it how many data it gets so you can see that data is increased 3787 data and do we have the week 4 data yes so you don't have to do anything when the uh, the new file got added in the folder as soon as you refresh you get the latest data that's the the power of uh, power queries and with this data you can add p-word charts uh, the way you want to represent for example let's let's try to insert a pivot so click on pivot what we wanted is let's say uh, employee name as a row and then week wise total we wanted for example so week we will put it as a column and then total so here is our week wise data for each employee if you like this video please do comment like and share this motivates us to create more videos thank you